so loose in the controller. <laughs> okay, hang on. What do we have to patch us? Paintbrush? Dude, I haven't bought anything for him. Too much stuff to buy. Too much. Fuck Penelope. I mean, you could tell it was her because, like, she gave you the hint and the arrow was pink, purplish. I wasn't trying to give out any hints, but I knew it. As soon as I recorded that day, I had to look it up. It was like, I swear to God, it's her. I was like, I know she was bad at some point. She was bad. Bad to the bone. Poor Bentley. Got used. Lost his girlfriend. Lost the use of his legs. He's been through some stuff. Okay, well, we knew we were gonna make that. Can we lift them up? Nope. What is this one called? Any Operation Mousetrap. Damn it. No. No, wrong way. No, Ron, no. He's gonna sacrifice himself. I keep seeing that stupid TikTok video. Of, of the dance, too. We have the whole dance, too. Oh. Alright, troops. Listen up. As you all know, Come Bentley up. is still unavailable. But we've <laughs> got to come up with a plan. So I'm calling this meeting for him. Hey, Carmelita. Quiet, Ringtail. We don't have time for your smart remarks. We've got to hit Penelope before she can finish... Whatever it is she's trying to finish. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I was going to ask. Look, it's pretty simple. We need to get into that castle. We've got the explosives. I was going to bring that up, too. Not another word, Sly. Your speech does nothing to lift our spirits, Sly. Gallif, do you think we could plant your explosives on the bridge controls? Sounds! This plan rings true! Okay, everyone get ready to move out. After that bridge comes down, we'll have to get in there fast. Sorry, I missed the part about what we do when we get inside. We'll have to improvise. Sounds good to me. Does it? Does it sound good to you? Mm. Bang! Mm. That's so cute. Probably the easiest job he's ever done. Clicking a button. Oh, Billy is known to retreat into a shell for long periods when depressed. I get that. I'll retreat into my bed if I'm ever feeling sad. Why is she breathing like that? I'll sally forth and smash that mechanical monstrosity! No! Gallop, wait! Why, thank you, Gallus. I've been looking all over for that. It's one of my stupid ancestors. <laughs> she is making her escape. I don't think so. What a little biatch. Oh my god, it's like Attack on Titan. No, 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 no. She goes, 
Shadow of Colossus. It's right at the front. Yeah, that's what it makes me think of Shadow of Colossus. Are we gonna have to climb it? I already got shocked. Jesus. She hits her shit. Oh, I need that. Oh, thank you. It's too early. Can technically. Oh, it's right here. Attack the limbs to fell a giant. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I knew that was gonna happen. Just appreciate you. May as well give up, Fly. I'm about to. Oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, at least she's very patient with me. <laughs> very patient with me. That's all that matters. Go, 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 go. Now I'm getting the hang of this. Or is it? Oh, my God. Slay the heart and you slay the beast. Endure and you shall prevail, Sly. Oh, come on, brah. Piece of poop. You have any idea 
what that suit was worth? It was one of a kind! You cost me too much already, Cooper. It's time to pay the fiddler. That's enough, Penelope! Huh? You heard me. Bentley? Your suit, is that my... my moat monster? Yeah, what's left of it, anyway. The design was... adequate. I made some Stop adjustments. It. Stop it! It was Stop just it. a prototype, anyway. Why'd you do it, Penelope? You owe me that much, at least. Why? For you, of course! I had to make you see how things could be! I'm not going to be one of the bad guys, Penelope. Ha! Huh, bad guy? That's kind of funny, Bentley, seeing as how you work for a thief. But you know the most valuable thing Fly ever stole? Your potential! Together, we could change the world, but you're still chasing after honor for jump change. When are you gonna wake up? So you sold out to La Paradox for the money? No, you're not listening. He's just a means to an end. Wow. And I thought you were smart. So you really think he's going to just let you go? He owns you now. You're his puppet. And when you've served your purpose, he's going to cut your strings. I'm nobody's puppet. Too bad I can't say the same for you. I'm sorry, Bentley. But I guess it's time to make this breakup official. Penelope, wait! We don't have to do it like this! Oh, I think we do. It's time to cut some strings for good. Okay, so I can move back. Sorry, I played too much. Dark Souls. You should have stayed in your shell. Bam. You'll have to do better than that. Oh. Oh. She got me. Is that the best you got? Oh. Oh, she got me. My bad. Break up official. And we're never ever getting back together. Poor Sly, you know? Nobody's like come in and help him. It's okay. She fooled us all, pal. I guess. But that's no excuse for me not being there. I lost sight of my true friends. That won't happen again. Uh, hey! Guys! Uh, we could use some help over here! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like they need some help getting out of there. You know anyone that could swing that? Well, I do know this one guy, but he's probably busy, so... I guess I'll have to do it. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Bentley. <laughs> we contacted Dimitri, who started in about sandstorms and camel spit. Well, we finally deciphered enough to realize it was my ancestor Salim Al Kupar who was in trouble now. Which meant we needed to get to ancient Arabia on the double. This time, Carmelita provided the solution. 
Before La Paradox grabbed her back at the museum, she'd managed to pocket a gold coin as evidence. And our luck held, as it turned out the antique gold piece was exactly what we needed. As we prepared to leave, everyone was keeping an eye on Bentley. He downplayed his heroics and refused to acknowledge that he'd saved us all. I sensed a new confidence in him, which I guess had come from finally confronting his personal demons. Mm -mm. He'd been through so much, but when it really mattered, he bounced back stronger than ever. I was sure about two things. I couldn't be more proud of Bentley, and we were going to need every ounce of his newfound strength to take down the paradox. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks about Pen Penelope. Like, what do they do with her, you know? Clockwork. Yeah, we know. Oh, we know. <sighs> but ser seriously, they should have went back in time and, like, met his parents, you know? Like, they could have done that. We'd traveled to ancient Arabia to find Salim al Kupar, an ancestor said to possess the stealth of 40 thieves. No surprise then when Bentley's research revealed that this guy was a charter member of the infamous 40 Thieves. For once, it appeared we'd have plenty of backup to help out with this job. When we arrived, however, we were shocked to find that most of the thieves had already retired. Having made their fortunes and gotten older, these great thieves had decided to call it quits and enjoy the Smart. golden years in peace. What wasn't shocking was the unmistakable presence of Cyril the Paradox. Nasty looking guards patrolled everywhere and it was clear that something sinister was going on. After some detective work, Bentley had even worse news. No one had seen Salim al Kupar for some time. He had been working with a few of the remaining thieves, but had simply vanished. So where was he? That was the first thing we needed to figure out. Forty thieves. Yeah, but what's what's available to purchase this time? Nothing new? Oh, thank god. I can't keep up with this, man. Yeah, I'm surprised Carmelita wasn't like, well, screw you, people. I'm out. <laughs> they had to include her somehow, you know? Also, my cat was back there licking my analog sticks. Like a freak. <laughs> That's what I was yelling at her for. I only hear. <laughs> nope. Ugh. God, people are voting on that freaking Jimmy New Trunk. God damn it. I should have never gave that it. I should have never been on there. <sighs> Tim was just looking like he's just enjoying his days. What do you do? Are you a bouncy pad? Yeah, you are. You're cute a little taxi excuse me little crab hmm yeah I remember this place this is one of the places I remember the most too close to your ass, alright. 
power on your own. Okay, we don't have enough time. Okay, Sly. Word on the street is that Salim Al Kupar was driven into hiding, but that he's still in the area. We need to figure out where he's hiding and then find out why. To facilitate that, I've built you a new toy. Cool. Is it a robotic turtle butler? No. After gathering data from your ancestors, I've been able to map the Cooper DNA. I've modified your binocucom with a new visual guidance system that I've programmed to detect anything with which to leave Al Kupar may have come in contact. Wow, Bentley. That's some real science fiction. <laughs> And I almost did not make that. That's pretty close. Raccoons don't like water. I'm ex thinking they don't. <sighs> yes, well, we gotta sprint everywhere. Can't take our damn time. God, my eyes are watering so much. I don't know how much of a level we have to look oh, out there. Yeah. I wonder if the Lee was trying to see if he could summon a genie for one of these lamps. He must be really desperate. Activate your binocucom and scan the surrounding areas. You should see a glow on any object that Salim has recently. Oh, yeah. Sly, that door definitely does not belong here. You'd better get a picture of that as well so I can analyze it. Strange door. Okay, Sly, you should get out of there and head for the village while I sort oh. this out. I've marked a oh, waypoint oh. for you. Hang on, sorry. I didn't think we were down already. Tomorrow is Thursday. I need to start packing soon. <sighs> I'm starting to get tired. record for about 30 more minutes i think we're, we're doing pretty good right now i'm not like overly exhausted but i do need to stay up for a little bit too so i can get prepared for night shift again Ugh. you really want some water I still need some more data fly. yes Keep i know searching. hang on there we go where are we going? Okay. I mean, you had something I wanted anyway. Please don't be pearls. Ooh. Scorpion tail. Don't know how that's worth more than pearls, but okay. Oh, oh, I almost touched you. Hey, we got matching pearl earrings now. Quick, fly the binocu cup. There's something here. Yeah, I know. Well, Salim's obviously not the 
collecting his grooming. Mm-hmm. Cloth fiber. Interesting. Looks like Salim recently took this camel for a test drive. <laughs> well, what is the taxi, so? snakes. Give me a second. I gotta collect all these pearl earrings. Was he sleeping here? here Greetings. You're Salim Al Kapar, aren't you? And who are you? Uh, well, that part's kind of complicated. I'm a thief like you, but I'm kind of new in town. How about you come back to my gang's hideout and I can explain myself. How about you go lick a camel's hump? <laughs> okay. Look, I know you're in trouble. I'm here to help. I can explain everything, but let's go where we can talk safely. Besides, you look hungry. How would you like some food? Food? <laughs> it was foolish of you not to mention that in the first place. Let's go. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that thing is nasty. Dude, I pe peeled off most of that skin because I was trying to open that lid. <laughs> Back at the hideout, introductions went quickly as Salim stuffed his face. He told us about his problem. Some new player calling herself Miss Decibel had rolled into town and started throwing lots of money around. It didn't take a genius to figure out who the time-traveling lieutenant was here. Salim and the three remaining thieves had decided to pull one last heist before disappearing into retirement. Miss Decibel being the target. Of course, with her technology, she had easily captured his thief brothers, and Salim had been trying to come up with a plan to free them ever since. Bentley uncovered some interesting background information. Miss Decibel had come from a wealthy British family. Her true love was classical music. Unfortunately, her complete lack of musical talent, coupled with an extreme temper, made for a volatile combination. After suffering a freak accident during a tantrum, she was left unable to play music, normally. However, when she discovered she could control people with her hypnotic tones, a new criminal was born. She began using her devious talents to control others, 
forcing them to commit crimes for her. We told Salim about the paradox, and the whole thing made some strange kind of sense to him. The bad news was that he wasn't completely convinced that we were there to help him. I could see I was going to have to prove myself. Again. And again. And probably again. I mean, it's not like I was saving up for anything. And how does that go? Dude, there's so much. Oh, cool. We will see how that goes. Yeah, yeah, we know. I get lost constantly, I guess. <gasps> Fudge. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think this is the last level, actually. I think it is. Could be wrong, but I 100% think it is. I don't know, it's been 10 years. My camera looks like it's just high as shit. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> uh oh. You f Fucking crab. Jesus. Cut. Can you stop? <sighs> oh, and it's still trying to pinch me. Shit. I'm still pretty much dead at this point. <laughs> 